today I'm going to explain how you can go and get yourself a diamond ladybug in Adobe. So, Adobe has gone and actually confirmed and made a brand new video showcasing the area where you'll be able to go and pick up ladybugs in the Adopt Me update which is coming up soon. Which is definitely exciting, they've gone and confirmed that the pets are ladybugs and there are three variants, very similar to my recent video called Playing the Update Early. So in this brand new social post created by the Adopt Me team, they showcase fully what this location looks like and they also show how you can go and get these. So the way that you're actually going to be able to go and get yourself a diamond ladybug is by going and buying a game pass. If we are to go into the shop right now, we can see that there are a list of game passes. If you go down to the honey, it costs you 199 Robux. And how this works is quite simple. You spend 199 Robux and in return you go and get yourself some food. I believe it's in the food area. I'm not too sure or is it in the gifts? We're about to find out. I think um, if not, I'll just go and buy one now. And then what you do is with this honey is you just go and click it, place it on the ground and what will happen is a swarm of bees will flood you. It's basically the same idea with the diamond lavender. The diamond lavender will cost you Robux and once you go and do it, it will go and uh, give you a swarm of these ladybugs or ladybirds. And then in return, you'll have a different chance of going and getting a ladybug. So to go and get yourself a diamond ladybird, it'll be one in 40. To go and get yourself a king ladybird, it will be four in 40. And to go and get yourself a normal ladybird, it will be 35 and 40. The results may not be exactly the same actually, but in the social post that I'm showing you very soon, it will demonstrate that this is is actually what it says and that I'm not lying. So for all of the people that were saying, oh, it's not a ladybird, um, Adopt Me proved it, so there is proof, I guess. All right, so I'm not sure what section it goes into, so I am just gonna search honey. I don't think I actually have one though. Um, so let's see, is it honey? Is it in the food? All right, so we're gonna go and buy it right now. So let's just go and buy ourselves some honey to demonstrate how this will go and work. All right, so this costs you 199 Robux and it then actually goes into your food and basically it will then swarm you with all of these. So this is what's gonna happen with the ladybugs. All right, so what you then do is go and click down and what will happen is the lavender will place and then all of these will go swarm around and then you will go and pick up one. I just picked up a bee, which is very sad because I just spent 200 Robux on that bee. I'm imagining the lavender will be somewhat of a very similar charge in returns to the cost of the Robux. Okay, so I'm going to show you the post right now that the Adopt Me team has made. It says map changes with a new building and new friends are coming Thursday. So we've got now the confirmed release date is Thursday, which is only two days away, which is very exciting. So the 18th of February is this new map change. So we can see here that there are ladybugs flying around the map. There are so many of them. And you're in luck, there is a new treehouse. Which everyone was sad about that there was no treehouse and it looks like they've gone and replaced it now. Which is definitely fun and exciting to go and see. This video also has the many types of ladybugs flying around the map. And the people that are wondering, how do I know there's a diamond ladybug? If you go and pause it, it says right here, there's a diamond ladybug, a golden ladybug, and a normal ladybug. Um, it doesn't actually say it right there. Um, it's, I can't even read what that says, but it does have the chances next to it written, but it's so small to actually be able to read that you can't really tell. But um, there's different rarities of them, the diamond, the golden, and the normal, which is definitely fun and exciting. I can't actually even tell what those ratios are, but we can also see that there's a windmill um, and what seems to be like a mine track, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm so difficult to try and see what that says. I'm so intrigued what the odds are of actually going and getting one, but if I was you, be sure to go and start saving up your Robux and don't spend it on unnecessary things. And when you are going and purchasing Robux, be sure to go and enter a star code. My star code is CANDY, D-A-N-D-Y, and if you go and type that into the enter a star code to support a creator, it will help support me and it will say you are supporting Cookie Cutter. If you go and then send proof that you're going and using my star code and send it to me on social media and I'll be sure to reply and hopefully give you something as a reward. So be sure to go and do that if you want to have a chance of winning something. 
So this is very exciting for a dummy to go and post. All of those shadows were, yes, ladybirds. Um, which was kind of interesting because it's just kind of a blob and what else is kind of a blob that flies Plus we had these leaks. So there's also quite a lot of map changes here guys So we seem to have a brand new waterfall a brand new building. I'm intrigued what's in these buildings It does show that the building's doors are closed Meaning maybe this door will permanently be closed and we can't actually gain access into this and I'm also noticing that it's a bridge so you need to go over a bridge to get to this, meaning that there's a whole new island connecting to this place because underneath that is nothing. Which means that the map is having a new location just added onto it, meaning there's going to be a cutoff of this island and there'll just be an island connecting to it. Meaning I imagine that one of these big rocks is just going to go and coming off will be a big bridge taking you over to it, which will be quite exciting. I can't imagine that they will remove bees because if they did i think they'd give everyone a heads up i think the lavender is just a bonus thing to go and add so i can't imagine they're removing bees so if i was you i probably wouldn't spend your robux buying bees because you can pretty easily go and trade for one of these in the game so let me go and show you what a queen bee looks like it's quite exciting that they're adding a diamond pet as um something which you can go and pick up but then again a diamond bee is basically the same as a queen bee, so they could have just called on this diamond. But I'm definitely looking forward to going and getting yourself a um, a diamond ladybug. If you guys don't have any Robux, I will be going and giving some of these away to some lucky people. So if you'd like to have a chance of going and getting one, be sure to go and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be sure to go and give away some to some people who go down below. And um follow my roblox profile my roblox profile is at cookie cutter yt so if you go and do that then i'll be going and adding some random people and you might go and return receive some diamond lavender in which hopes you will go and get yourself this brand new diamond ladybug so if all of the people are wondering why is this place just a bunch of massive trees this is what seems and soon will be replaced in a dummy so time to say your goodbyes they say Say your goodbyes to this poor adopt me map location that not many people use. Let me know your opinions about this map change inside of Adomi. Again, this is 100% confirmed news that this is coming out on Thursday. This isn't an idea. This is actually confirmed by the Adomi team. So for those people who do not have Instagram, I thought we would go and share this video. I'm definitely excited to go and get my hands on these and hopefully I can go and make myself a, uh, a neon diamond unicorn. It doesn't say the odds, I don't think. Um, well, it's so hard to see. Maybe it's a work in progress, but it looks like it just says like an X and a number two next to it, which, which makes no logical sense to me. So hopefully it will make sense soon, uh, but I really can't see what that says. Maybe it says out of seven, one in seven. I don't know, I'm kind of difficult to read because it's such a blurry thing. So if anything, maybe it's one in seven and then two in seven and then I don't I don't know. Let me know what you think it is down below in the comment section. But then again, this is confirmed. Hopefully we'll find out more tomorrow. And then Thursday we will also find out more. Anyway, thanks for watching this confirmed Adobe News, and I guess it does confirm my previous videos, which is exciting. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!